Hi, I'm Alex Howard and welcome to this video where we're going to be exploring fatigue and what is actually happening on a cellular level. One of the most frustrating and anxiety inducing things suffering from a medically unexplained chronic fatigue experience is why do I feel exhausted and fatigued the whole time? Now, there are many different factors, different systems, stages, subtypes that can impact the symptom and experience of fatigue. But there is a very specific cellular function that helps us understand, that helps us to explain why our body is feeling so tired. You see, in each of our cells, we have something called our mitochondria. The mitochondria are like the energy powerhouses in our cells, just like we have power stations which have different ways of creating the energy that comes out of a plug socket. We plug in our computer, camera, lights. That power is being created, is being generated somewhere. And in our cells, that's the responsibility of our mitochondria. Our mitochondria are making the currency of energy otherwise known as ATP. Now, if ATP is the currency of energy, would it explain how there can be a continuum of different people with different amounts of energy? At one extreme, we could have someone that's severely affected with ME chronic fatigue syndrome that would have you know, no energy in their system, right to uh, someone that has normal energy to the far extreme, of a peak performance athlete, perhaps someone that can do ultra marathons that just seems to have almost a never ending supply of energy their body can create. Well, it's interesting, the research shows that peak performance athletes are able to produce more ATP. They're also able to replenish their ATP more quickly. We also have found that those that have chronic fatigue, fatigue related conditions, have impacts on their body's capacity to generate and create ATP. So if you are experiencing the symptom of fatigue, you're not crazy, you're not making this up, it's not all in your mind, there is likely an impact on your body's capacity to manufacture, your mitochondria's ability to manufacture and make the currency of energy ATP. Now, when we came across some of this early research in the early years of the Optum Health Clinic, getting on now for nearly 20 years ago, one of the first things that we started to do is look at what are the raw ingredients for making energy. Things like magnesium, coenzyme Q10, D-ribose, some of the different raw ingredients our body uses to manufacture energy. And we started giving fatigue patients some of those raw ingredients. And in some instances, it would give people more energy. But what we also started to realize is that there are different factors. There are different variables that are directly impacting our body's ability to manufacture and make energy. If we can decode what they are, if we can figure out what the variables are that are affecting our body's ability to make energy, we can address those we can map your path to recovery. Having run the Optum Health Clinic, one of the world's leading integrative medicine clinics with a team of 25 full-time practitioners and patients in over 50 countries around the world, we've learned rather a lot about how to decode your fatigue, to understand these different factors affecting your mitochondria and map your path to recovery. I'm running a free five-day challenge where you can learn how to apply this model to your own healing journey. It's completely free, so please do register now, and I look forward to being your companion in learning how to decode your fatigue, to understand what's affecting your mitochondria, your ATP production, and map your path to healing and recovery.